Knicks and Blazers tonight, a good opportunity to check in on Cam Reddish. So this will be the second full game that I viewed of Cam as a Blazer, trying to get a good feel for how he's been impacted after the trade areas in the far right corner. He's going to get this dribble handoff from Nurkic, and you're going to see the Blazers really don't have much in terms of spacing for him. You got a cutter going towards the rim on an angle, then the two shooters are pretty much covered up. So his only real play is this little drop off to Nurkic, who gets called for that offensive foul. So the play design and and the spacing a little rough for Cam in that situation. Um, but the Blazers did run a lot of action for Cam, uh, especially with the, the second unit. And you're going to see here he's going to um, hit Nurkic in the post. little tip pass to Cam to get him downhill. Nice step through. And just another occasion where Cam really shows dexterity and good footwork in the paint. All right, so the Blazers ran a lot of zone. So he's got responsibility to Trey Murphy here and sort of loses him a bit but does a nice job of closing out and get gets a good shot contest, and that's going to end up forcing the miss. But Trey Murphy really went off in this game, so he was a tough cover for Cam Reddish. And then back on offense, Luck Cam does a nice job here. He could just easily stand and wait for that pass, but he cuts to the rim. Nice 45 cut and a solid two-hand finish, and then sticking on the offensive end. This one, he just has a good awareness. Nice lefty pass to Simons down low. Cam did have a couple of nice uh, passes on the night, but then he gets called for this turnover basically once a game where he just slides that pivot foot ever so slightly, gets called for the travel, and then on defense is not quick enough. Uh, he's the low man responsible at this point, and he just can't give Murphy that much space to get all the way to the basket, and then it's a finish for uh, Murphy. And then here, again, struggles on the defensive end. You cannot lean in that direction so dramatically because you are just giving up all that space. That's an easy screen reject for Trey Murphy. Gets all the way to the basket again. Hoop in the harm. Big game for Trey Murphy, as I mentioned, but that's just really bad defense by Cam. And then back on the offensive end where anytime Cam's shooting off the dribble, just avert your eyes because it is a struggle. And then Nance does a really nice job of cutting that initial drive uh, by Cam going left. But then as Reddish gets this ball back, you can see how Nance is really on the heels of his feet and at this point he has doesn't have the dexterity to cut off that baseline drive good job by reddish to draw the foul and then here just a miscommunication not sure whose responsibility or whose issue this was but he and simons they both go with the same man and that's going to leave the best shooter on the floor for the pelicans wide open and Trey Murphy Jr. cashes that open three-point shot. And then Cam on offense where he's going to step into this three-point shot, but he does it with the one-two. But right foot first, left foot coming in second, which is typically the opposite uh, rhythm and pattern that you're going to want for a right-hand shooter. Typically, you're going to want that left foot to, la to land first. And then Cam's going to miss this another contested three-point shot. And if you look at his three-point shooting, by closest defender, one, only one for five with tight coverage, but open only 17 of 58 for 29%. Wide open, he's a much more reasonable 25 of 66 for 38%. But you can see that low release point can be a problem for Cam Reddish. And then I like this defense here where he's going to do a good job of just battling Jackson Hayes a bit as a low man. And then he's going to get out and do a nice job of contesting that little mid-range shot. Uh, Cam had some good moments on the defensive end, and then he's got this isolation against CJ McCollum. Gets a hand up, forces the miss, and then really nice stampede dribble here, getting his momentum going downhill, and then stops on a dime, little pullback midi jumper. That is that rhythm and dexterity that really shows for Cam at times. And then here, he just doesn't fight enough where he's got this 45 cut to be responsible for and just isn't physical and allows that hoop right at the rim. But on the offensive end, there were some good moments as a creator. Here, he just easily beats his closeout, gets downhill, decelerates, and hits Thibel in the right corner. Good look for the three-point shot. And then Blazers love this horns action here. Low pickup by Cam, and that basically causes Valanchunas to reach, and I think he hits him on the arm. Cam continues to the rim and finishes with that little floater. Just excellent work, and then gets beat again by Herb Jones going towards the rim, so that physicality as a paint defender just really was rough for Cam. And then this closeout just wasn't hard enough, and his balance was way off, and he gives up the baseline. This is just technique was off and his effort was off and ends up getting called for that foul so cam's got to really pick it up on the defensive end and then nice little swing pass so he catches the ball immediately swings it that's a good look by grant who is unable to finish it but nice job by cam who's going to reject this screen and then the high pickup 
gets all the way to the rim, and then there's that extension finish. That is the stuff that Cam can do every now and then that is really, really impressive, and then misses that uh, contested three-point look. And then nice job here of just rejecting the screen, probing into the paint, Simple kick out to Grant, who's un unable to finish it, but the process by Cam, really solid. But here, and, we're, and I'm sorry we're going to have to end this on a low note, but he really needs to come over and be a deterrent. I can't blame Eubanks for being upset, though you really don't want to give up that baseline. But even if you do, you need to be able to trust your teammates to come over and provide that help defense. So we'll see how Cam performs tonight in his uh, revenge game against the Knicks. will surely be interesting.